Hey everyone, this is a video I'm going to be taking of the Super Liberty. This is because I work pretty shitty hours and um, yeah, I might not be able to have enough time, at least in the afternoon, for you people to come have a look at it. But so I'll, I'll give it the most honest um, look. I'll get really close. This is the rear end of the 96 Rally E Edition Liberty. It's been a good car. Um, I've owned it for about 12, 12 months. Um, yeah, pretty much how I bought it actually. So this is the boot. Sorry, I still got all my essentials here. But as you can see, it's a nice big boot. Let's fold the seats down. I'm six foot four. I can um, sleep in this easily. So decent big boot space. Or standard exhaust, so should be fine with that. Here we go, the side here. Bit of a dip there. Has roof rack, so that's pretty good. Now this is the, I guess, the reason why it's a $1,200 car. It's the front end has been, um, have had a rough 300 odd thousand life in it. So There's a bit of a gap there, as you can see. But hey, it gets me to work every day. It's been like this, fucking, oh, excuse my language, for, I mean, eight months of driving a mascot every day. So, hasn't bothered me so far. That's the gap. Relatively new tyres as well. So it should pass Rego when it when it comes up. Or right, have a look at the passenger seats now. Oh, the rear seat. Here's the door card. Um, here's the rear seats. Yeah, pretty good condition. Um, it doesn't have any sound system at all in it, so you'll have to install one of those. It has a CD deck in there, but I don't think it works. I never used it since owning this car, so yeah, you might need to um, let me get that replaced. All right, go the inside of the driver's seat. So here's all the controls; they all work. Aircon works perfect. Yeah, the end the feature there. A little bit of play on that, but um, it stays in gear. I like it because I'm a bit tall, so I can when I'm in fifth gear, I can just move it a little bit to that way. So that's pretty good. Imagine you see. As a high gear for when you go off road. Yeah, glove compartment, lighter works. No real cracks in the dash. All the lights work. Um, what else can I do? Oh, I'll show you. show you. Actually, no, I'll go for a drive around the block first. All right. Alright, don't know if nothing wrong with this car, so I should start straight away. Um, this check engine light here, um, I don't know what's going on, I think it's just a fault. Um, I've had a lot of stuff put into this car, there's like new water pump, new radiator, all the, like a major service done to it about four months ago. I haven't actually got the paper, but if you go to Ichiban, which I, which is pretty much one of the best Subaru guys around here, um, they will vouch for this car. Like, at least the engine anyway. Okay, straight away. Red idols. Alright, okay, 
take it off. We'll just go around the block. Drives really nice, this car. It's driving along. See how there's no edge light on at the moment? It'll come on randomly. So it's just a fault on the system, on the, the computer. But it doesn't do anything to the, the driving of the car. There's nothing wrong with this car mechanically. Drives fine. Cruise control doesn't work, but fuck, they don't really work in any of these old cars. Shift's fine, everything works fine. Let's pull it in to the parking spot now. Right there. Alright, so that all works, all the standard features here. That, that's all good. Alright, we'll have a look at the engine bay. has a new starter I put in recently only about two weeks ago so it kicks straight away radiator new water pump and all that new all the gaskets are being replaced everything's good yeah I can't fault this car mechanically it's a great little car but yeah hope you enjoyed this little video I made um, all the details are on the gum tree or the YouTube or whatever I had, and I hope to hear from you soon. Love you a long time.